Okay, hey you guys, um, here we go. Lesson 7.9. Level up a little bit, but you can do it. You totally got this. Today we're gonna learn how to multiply mixed numbers. And all a mixed number is, is this. One and one half. That's a mixed number. It's a number with a whole number and a part of a whole number. Okay, so one and one half is a mixed number. If I'm looking at one and one half times, um, let's say two and one third. The most simple way to do it, the way that's going to make the most sense is to take this number, this mixed number, and to turn it into a improper fraction. Okay, and we can do that a couple of different ways. Here's one way. One way is to say this one, I can turn this whole number, I can turn it into a fraction. I can, I can use two as my denominator. So this is two halves plus one half, right? That works really well. Two halves is the one, one half is the one half. Um, I could do the same thing to the two and one thirds. I could say, and this time I don't want to use halves, I want to use thirds. This two, how many holes are there? There are two holes in my whole number two. So I can say three thirds, there's one, plus three thirds, there's two, plus one third, is my one third. I have the exact same value. It's simply written differently. From here, I can add these. These two guys, same denominator, easy speasy. Two plus one is three halves. In addition, I keep the denominator, okay? This is times, I add my numerators, three, six, seven, and I keep my denominator. Now I go back to what we've been doing the last two days is multiplying the fractions. Three times seven equals 21, right? Two times three equals six. So my answer is 21 sixths, but I don't wanna leave it as 21 sixths do I? It's an improper fraction. I use them to solve my problem, but I never use them in my final answer. So here, I need to do it a couple of different ways. I can pull the holes out. I can see how many six, six are in here. I can also do it the way that we've been working on, is to say this is six divided into 21, how many groups of six are in two? Zero. How many groups of six are in 21? Well, there's three because that's 18. If I go to four, it's too high. Do my subtraction. My remainder becomes my numerator and my divisor is my denominator. So my answer is three and three sixths. But what do I know about three sixths, you guys? I can't leave it like that. I know that this can be simplified to three times one over three times two. These guys go away. This equals one half. My answer is finally and completely three and one half. That's it. That's really all it is, okay? I could have used, done this 21 sixths. I could have done it slightly different. Let's look at it slightly different, okay? I don't have to do it. Remember, this is one way to simplify. It's not the only way. I could break this up, this 21 sixths. Let's write it over here. 
so we have enough room. Make sure you can see it. You can. Okay, this is the same as six sixths, right? Plus six sixths. Six and six is 12. So I'm not, okay, so I can go up. I can still say I can get six more. Six and six is 12, and six more is 18. Got it? I'm good. From the 18, 18, 19, 20, 21. I have three sixths left over. This would equal, if I'm counting them, one, two, three. This equals three and three sixths. And I still have to simplify the three sixths just like I did over here. Okay, let's try one more. It's a little bit more work. It's pick the way that you like. If you like doing it this way, do it this way. If you prefer this way, do it this way. It's the way that works best for you. Let's try another one. All it is, is a little bit of extra work. If I look at three fourths times six and five sixths. Three fourths times six and five sixths. Okay, well, I don't have to do quite as much work because this is just a fraction. It's not a mixed number. So that's cool, I'm gonna leave it alone. This one is a mixed number, and so I need to redo it. Now remember, you can also say this six six, you can re you can say six times six is thirty-six. Six times six is thirty-six plus the five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. 41. So this could equal 41 sixths. Okay? Six, six, six and five sixths is the same as 41 and six sixths. And I can, I can prove that to you. I can. All I have to do is do the other way. Six sixths plus six sixths. How many six sixths do I need? I need six of them, plus six six, plus six six, plus six six, one, two, three, four, five, plus six sixths, and then to put in my five sixths, plus five sixths, one, two, three, four, five, six, six times six, 36, add five, 41. This shortcut, multiply the denominator by the whole number, add the numerator, is the shortcut to this work. You pick the one you like best. Okay? I don't have to do anything to this 3 fourths. So now I have to do 3 times 41. It's a little bit bigger number, but I'm cool. I can do that. 41 times 3 is three, three times one is three, three times four is 12. This equals 123, and then four times six, 24. Now this is where, you guys, remember the way where I pull out the whole numbers? Pull them out, pull them out, pull them out? That's fine, I could do that, but I'm gonna have to do that a lot to get to 123. And so that way slowly becomes not as efficient. Still works for you, that's what you wanna do, do it. I'm fine with that. The more efficient way to do it is to say 123 divided by 24. That is the mo most efficient way to do it. Okay, it might not be the way you like, then go back and do it the other way. It works just fine. I say to myself, I remember to put some of my scaffolds in, my place values. 
Okay, say how many groups of 24 are in one? Well, there's zero. That doesn't work at all. How many groups of 24 are in 12? Still zero. How many groups of 24 are in 123? Well, this is where I'm gonna have to go off to the side and do a little bit of multiplying and figuring out. So I'm gonna start with, I like three, three kind of works for me. Four times three is 12. Three times two is six, seven. Oh, I can go higher. I'm gonna go up to, I'm gonna say, oops, not 25, sorry about that. I'm gonna say, and that was multiplying, 24 times five. I'm gonna try that one. Four times five is 20. Five times two is 10 and two more. Oh, I can't get any closer than that, right? If I go up to six, I'm way over. I have 120. 24 times five is 120. Do my subtraction. My answer becomes five, three is the numerator, 24 is the denominator. Oh, and then I would say, hey, but wait a minute. Three and 24, let me get rid of this work right here. Because I know, since I've been practicing my multiplication facts, three times one, three times eight. Three times one is three, three times eight is 24. Easy speezy, the same, cancel each other out. My answer to this problem is five and one eighth. Five and one eighth. Okay, you're gonna get this problem at the end of the week. This problem will be on Friday. Okay, you'll be looking at this on Friday. I will probably make it available so I can, we can do some in-class work together to work on it um, through a Zoom meeting or something. Okay, don't let it freak you out. Watch this video a couple of times. Keep going back over it, solving the problem with me as you go. You can write the problem down, try to find this, press pause on the video, find this, come back and keep checking yourself. All right? I have complete faith in you guys. You could do it.